Hello, Wisconsin doctors. This is Tim Bertelsman again from Swansea, Illinois. I'm a practicing chiropractor and I'll be in your area on May 19th and 20th. And we're going to talk about the best practice management of lower back pain. We're going to cover the structural problems that cause lower back pain, but more importantly, we're going to talk about the functional deficits that led to those structural problems. The things that precede the onset of a structural problem and the things that you and I need to get rid of in order to have good outcomes. Let's take a quick preview of a talk that I gave earlier this year. These are the problems that cause frustration in our office. The patient who comes back every three weeks or four weeks and says, now it's uncomfortable again. We don't want that. We want the patient who comes back and says, I felt great the whole time. We want the patient who succeeds. And I like to think of every problem like a glass of water. When that glass of water overflows, the patient has symptoms, right? Why do I get my migraines? Why did this lumbar disc lesion come on? I just bent over to pick up a pencil. Was it bending over to pick up a pencil? I didn't see that on the list. It wasn't any one thing. That every problem, or nearly every problem, takes an overfilling of the glass to create symptoms. And that glass can be poured into immediately by getting hit by a car, but that's not typical. Most of our patients sat at a workstation, had a crummy pillow, and eat a poor diet. And so each of those poured a little bit into the glass, and the glass was just at the very edge of overflowing. And with that glass almost overflowing, they bent over and pick up a pencil and drip three more drips in, and boom, there goes the disc, there goes the joint, and now they have symptoms. And so what do you and I do is we adjust their joint, and they feel better. But what we've really done is we've taken their glass just below the threshold. So the pain goes away, and we throw a party. All right, see you next time. Guess when next time's coming? The next time they bend over for a pencil and sleep in that crummy bed or sit at their workstation. Oh, man, my neck's still killing me. It just, by Friday, I don't feel good. I've seen a couple of those. It's because we're celebrating when we drop the level of water in the glass a couple of millimeters. That's not a time to celebrate. That's good for the patient, but that's not met their long-term goals. Their long-term goals are met when we get rid of this half of the water in their glass so that now they can do what they want throughout the day without having a redevelopment of those symptoms. So that's an overview of the concepts that we'll talk about. In our 10-hour class on managing lower back pain, we'll talk about every specific orthopedic test, functional assessment, management technique, and exercise that we need to teach the patient in order to achieve better outcomes. The future of healthcare is outcomes based. You and I need to work together to make sure that we're getting the patients feeling better as quickly as possible, but more importantly, giving them the skills to help keep that problem away. When we do that, we increase our value in the healthcare system, and we increase the likelihood that chiropractic becomes the undeniable best choice for patients and payers alike. I hope that you'll join me in Milwaukee on May 19th and 20th. We'll talk about best practices, the structural problems, the functional solutions, a classification system, and all kinds of practical tools that you can implement on Monday morning to get better outcomes and improve value. I hope to see you then.